Hi, Matt here from Crooks Cabinet Makers. Uh, I'm in the workshop today and I'm going to be making a router table insert for the bench I made previously. So the first thing we do is make a little plate. Now I've got this one and I've made it made it at 220 wide. And I'll do that for the camera by 320 long. I've marked my center position and then two positions here. I'm using the Hitachi M12 router. Uh, this is a half inch router and it's very very powerful. This is an old version. This is probably about 20 years old this particular one but it's still good as gold. The mark there gives me the edge of the base plate plus one or two mil. So at this point here I need to add some braces. Piece on there to take the weight of the bolt I'm going to use. So to get that measurement also I need to allow half an inch at this point here. So what I'm going to do I've marked my half inch and then I'll take, take my measure from the 100 mil line and it looks like I've got 556, 50, 55, 56 mil. So I'm going to go 56 mil and cut this, cut this piece and fit it on here. I'm just going to make that nice and clear for myself. So now what I need to do is mark back from there 20 mil. At that 20 mil point, I'm going to drill through. And there we go. Beautiful job. All right, for this next stage, I'm going to use some staples. I've got a little staple gun. This is a silver line gun, it's really good. So I've got my blocks, they're ready to go. A little bit of breakout, so I'll put that on the bottom. Now a little bit of PVA glue. That should be enough. And same on the other one. So now just flick that off, make sure it's dust free. And one thing I've forgotten to do is mark the middle. It's not really a big issue because I can, I can eye that in. So, as you can see on there, there's a fair amount of glue all the way around. That's really great, that's the way it should be. Now my next stage is to drill through there. Now we're through. And so this is where those marks come in handy. Now we're through again. So right now I'm using a 70mm M8 coach bolt. What I need to do is dink that into the top. Voila! Right, so now I've got my basic setup ready to go. Um, I'll put these back at 20 mil from there. So I've made those 40 mil and that fits on there nice and even like that. Two bars to go through the bottom of my router to clamp that to the plate. Bolts and ashes and washers. So I've cut the heads of those bolts down either side and just use the normal nuts to tighten things up. And now I can get a pretty full depth cut. So there we go. That's the actual router base plate ready to go. Now what we've got to do is insert that into a table.
So this is the table I made in December, the bench, the workbench. It's incredibly strong, but anybody who knows me knows that I like to test things thoroughly. So I put my van onto my bench. I've got about three or four inches underneath there. I had to give it a fighting chance. I'm pretty happy. And now what I need to do, I've marked it in the correct position, and I want to allow uh, 12 mil internal. So from the inside of these, and I want to come in by 12 mil. So there we go. I've marked off a 12 mil interior, and that should be just right. So these pieces have been in now, I've taken the screws out and I actually filled over the top of the holes because even for me it looks a little bit rough. So now I need two uh, router pieces. First I've got this twin flute, six mil or quarter of an inch router piece. And I'm gonna set up a jig so I can cut some arches on here. So when I fit this back in, I can screw down through there and into there. Um, and the other one I need to trim this is the, there's also a twin flute straight cutter with the um, roller bearing at the top. So the first thing I need to do is set the twin flute, six mil twin flute cutter in there. There we go, that's nice and tight and that's ready to go. So I've made a template here. Okay, well in honesty, that's probably the most ugly cut I've ever made with the router. So eventually I've got quite, quite nice curves. So now I need to give that a sand up, but before I do anything else, the moment you'll be waiting for, test it. And there we have it, the perfect fit. So now I'm gonna drill through here, here, add my bolts, and that top section will be ready to go. Right, for the next stage, I'm going to put these little grub nuts in. I've got to get the ball rolling. There we go. That's nice. It's a little bit tricky to get the ball rolling. There you go. 
you put a fair amount of pressure on them to get the ball rolling. But we are putting it into birch face ply. And there we go. And let's go with these. So the net thing to do now is gradually tighten those up. And that is a beautiful fit. It's also very strong. So on this side, what I've done is I've transferred the measurements over and I've worked out what is the minimum size that I can cut to make this open to allow the route to pass through. So there we go, we've got the cut in the top and the smaller cut in the underside to fit the router. That is a gorgeous bit of shaping. I'm extremely pleased with the result. It's really, really good. I'm gonna put a rise and fall in there. And that. Works a treat. So I finally got my rise and fall worked out break it down I'll show you how it works first and then I'll break it down and show you how I've got there okay and that super fast super accurate in fact, I've got two nuts locked together here my bearing set and a washer push that straight on top of there like that and close that over. That's the one. So now comes time to put everything back together.
and plonk that in. Right, so there we go. That is ready for action. All the way down. All the way up. And it's so easy to do. Great stuff. So, okay, that's my bench, the new setup. And to say I'm pretty pleased with it, it's an understatement, I'm massively pleased with it. Um, you know, for sometimes when you're on site it's really nice to have options um, and the ability to do something a little bit more bespoke if necessary thanks for watching stay safe in the workshop and have a nice day